so the speaker grills are done and they turn out super nice. I'm, I'm very pleased with the results. Um, they're back to their original dark blue color. There are no signs of any water stains or any sort of discoloration. They're really nice and even. The fabric just cleaned up really nice. Um, and they're back structurally sound again. So a peek on the inside, you can see the reattached center braces. Um, as mentioned before, we've got some new badges on the way. It's going to be uh, the last piece to complete the speaker. So we definitely want a complete set. Um, so here are the results of, of the grills looking nice. Now back to the speakers. Um, as I've shown you in earlier videos, the the tops and sides are in a really nice shape. The wood has a real nice patina to it, but the bottoms must have sat in some moisture at some point. They're not finished. Uh, they seem to be still rough, like the sides, and there's been some separation in the corners. Now, originally, I was hoping to miter uh, a relief in here with a reciprocating saw and clamp them back together, but then I noticed that the cabinets themselves are not a mitered corner. They're actually stepped, so um, putting a saw in there would actually make them less strong. Maybe you can get a look at the corner here is what I mean. There's a better view. So it is a step thing. So rather than, since we do have a really nice tight bond between the lower part of the, the two pieces, that's still perfectly sealed. I know there's no leaking or any structural issues. So I'm just going to finish this gap up with um, some wood filler. I've got a, a two-part Bondo wood filler, much like a, a car repair. Pretty much the same thing. So we're going to um, mix up some of this wood filler and, uh, and work pretty quickly. It has a few minute drying and curing time, so we'll have to make sure that it gets applied real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down and, and show you some of the process of, of filling these corners here. So I'm gonna tape off certain part of it so that we're not doing a big cleanup when we're done. So I'm probably going to apply this in two different stages. The first is going to be to just fill the void as much as possible. And the second will be to attain a corner. And I'll do that by putting uh, a, more, a more stiff piece of maybe board or cardboard at the edge here and filling from the top to get that 90 degree shape out of it. When we're all said and done, it's going to be the wrong color. Obviously, this will dry like a, a cream color and then we'll color match it. And since this is the bottom of the speaker, you'll only really be able to see a tiny bit of it. As long as we color match the Bondo to the to the cabinet, I got a feeling it's going to end up pretty, pretty nice. I've done this a few times before with some success. So I'm going to grab a bin and get mixing. Uh, this stuff is pretty nasty, so mask and goggles are recommended for working with any of the Bondo products. And then just a bit of the, the hardener. There should be more than enough time there. Let me get a utensil to stir it up with. And so you kind of want to stir it until you get a nice even color throughout. Smells just like it would in a body shop. We actually have a body shop next to SkyFi Audio, and whenever I walk by there, I can uh, identify the smell of Bondo. It's pretty distinct. 
So even though this is a wood product, it's probably a very similar composition to what is used in the automotive industry. So here we go. Now we've got a few minutes to work with this material. And again, we're just trying to just fill the gap cosmetically. The cabinet is pretty, pretty intact even without this repair. Unlike some of the modern speakers that would have had a, a thinner wool construction. So this will be the first of, of, of two applications. hole there left over and a bit back to the beginning So there it is, gap filled. Let me show you the results of one I did earlier, uh, where you can start to see the corner beginning to form here. Uh, I'm going to do one more application on this side, and then I'll use a knife and some abrasives to, to square it off nicely. And since this stuff hardens so, so much, it'll, uh, it'll hold up nicely. Okay, so uh, I think that's enough progress for today. We're gonna let that dry and then circle back to you guys when, when we're ready to color match it, shape it.